you have to have your why straight with Jesus. You have to have a why from God. Hey, Lieben, it's Yeshua, YeshuaBoyton.com. This video is another episode in the Real Life series. I thought I'd just start recording and start kind of uh, documenting. As you guys know, I moved, we moved, my wife, my son and I, we moved to Florida from Germany. And I tell you, <laughs> the weather here really gets me. <laughs> oh my. Oh, it's so hot. Well, it gets a little bit hotter than in Germany, but what makes it really rough I'm not complaining, by the way. I'm not. I, just, I want to make a point with all this. Um, it's quite rough because what you know, the heat. Usually, before I came here, I didn't. I didn't expect like to be uh, sensitive to heat. I always thought I'm pretty good, pretty good with dealing with heat. Never had a problem. Like I was in Australia. That was awesome. Awesome time. I was in Egypt, I was hot, I was a child, very young, I was kind of okay. I was in Israel, that was very hot, but okay. I was in the Philippines, I think only during rainy season, that's very humid there, but it, it was okay, actually it was hot, but okay, it was bearable, but here, I get, guys, I tell you, whoo, it gets me, like I, you can't see it, <laughs> and you, you, you're lucky that you can't smell me right now, but um, like for the second time, like it's only 2.30, something around 2.30 in the afternoon, coming off of work, and I uh, was not doing much outside today, like, I was working outside, but not like rough, just painting something and cleaning something, and guys, I'm kidding you not, I just two times just completely soaked in sweat. Now, going home, taking a shower, and uh, then going out, going to my in-laws and have a nice lunch and dinner. And we're back home. How about that for a transition? Didn't fit at all. Um, here, this channel is here to encourage you to grow in faith, to experience the gospel, and walk it out daily. That's what I'm here for. That's what I make the content for. And to spice up things a little bit, I decided to document more rather than create and trying to push something and force something. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's thunder in the background there. Those are big dark clouds. That is rather common in Florida. Having some time with my boy here. In the garage now where I can talk a little bit more in quietness. I want to continue the thought from the beginning of the video with this little kind of story and side note. A few years ago, a friend of mine and I went to the Philippines and we met a missionary who explained to us that in the first few weeks when you go into another country, like four weeks or so, you're on the stage of everything is awesome and everything is great. And then you get into like two or three months of, oh, everything is bad because suddenly you just discover everything that is not so good. And you kind of like lean on the other side of the pendulum and you're just like, oh, everything is bad. And then after like six months or so, you kind of like get into the balance if you stay in that country, of course. And I can really say for myself that this is very much true. Like I really went through this, those stages. But I feel like it lasted a little longer <laughs> than just six months or so. Like the first year being here in America was quite rough. Not just because of the weather. Um, that was one part. But just being a complete different culture and everything different and not having friends around and so on and so forth. 
Well, why am I telling you this? Because if I wouldn't have known, if we wouldn't have known that God told us to come here, giving us a word to come here, we probably wouldn't have stayed, uh, maybe would have moved somewhere else or gone back to Germany or whatnot. My point is, whatever we go through in life, especially in situations that come because we follow the will of God or the word of God, we have to have that foundation of knowing why. Why are we in this situation? Why are we persistent? Why are we staying? Why are we going forward? Meaning the answer is God. You have to have your why straight with Jesus. You have to have a why from God to be able to withstand the challenge and yeah, the trial that the enemy is going to hit you with. So this is the main point in this whole video. You got to have your why from God to be able to go forward and to withstand the storm and to go through the storm whenever the enemy is doubting you in your identity or your calling your ministry uh, whatever it is the enemy is trying to throw at you and questioning the why seek God and get your why straight your foundation that certainly helped me and it's still helping me. I'm still in the process. I'm not like through yet. As I said, I'm taking you with us on the journey of finding out what God's will is here. But it helped me to know that God sent us here and that we're here for a reason. All right, guys, this was it for this video. Might have been a little bit talky, but I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and always remember, share this video and the gospel. Thank you.